Whenever you come up with something new, there might be at the beginning a lot of enthusiasm and all of a sudden you start to notice things that one has done so far very nicely or properly may change. Perhaps you know the classical change curve where projects normally start very positive then go to the valley of despair and hopefully after that comes back to a, a positive climb up. What we see is within those classical approaches we have a big disalignment from the project team and the top management and the rest of the organization. If you change the way people work or should work, then obviously it's important to convince people that they should go the first and second step. And often we just communicate what are the tools and the processes, but we believe we have to communicate why we are changing. A company has its reasons why they need to change. For the individual, this is not that important. You have your own reasons why you are at the company, why you work, why you do certain things. By inviting them to find a reason, a purpose, where the company why is matching to the individual's own purpose, we create momentum. Because people believing in this why and joining us to create a pull effect instead of pushing people and forcing people to use the new systems and the new tools. In order to get this movement started, we follow usually a five-step process. In the beginning, we start to identify the initiators of the transformation. We try to figure out, okay, what is this all about? Why do we need to change and how can we approach the whole thing? Second phase is the Ignite phase. So this phase is crucial because we have to find those innovators who are deliberately taking the move and the transformation further. It's really important we come together to build something all together and to benefit all together. And we try to ignite them to lead the change for us, to be the change agents, to be a multiplier and trying to help other people to be part of that as well. The right people in the accelerate phase are the early adopters. So those people who are probably in the beginning a little bit reluctant but say, okay, well, I want to try that out. I want to be part of that. So on that point, we have certain network groups or teams in the company we're starting to change the transformation at hand and test it out and being a role model for even more people. Show me and I will remember. Or engage me and I will understand. This is why we're here. Fourth phase, the Amplify phase. We are in the phase now of implementing the new normal. Where we really use a lot of communication techniques and inspirational communication material to deliver the message and inviting more and more people to find their own reason to participate into that, to bring this change to life at a full scale in a company. But it's not ending there. As soon as the whole company is somehow affected by this new idea, by this change, by this transformation, we need to constantly nurture this new mindset in the company in order to really anchor it in the whole community. And from that on, start out with the next transformation probably that will come up at hand. I think it's a big switch for the employees from just being part of an organization to contribute to all the transformation, to all the change. So it's not just about implementing the process to learn the process. It starts much earlier with developing and get their ideas into the process. So in a nutshell, it's, it's creating a role in um, and it's the complete opposite of the traditional way of rolling out stuff into the organization.